What would you consider as uh, some of the most uh, exciting things or catalysts? Uh, it could be tools, technologies, any events, any regulatory changes, uh, people that have really shaped uh, the way we see cloud computing, computing or internet. Yeah, so we have to give a lot of credit to uh, Amazon. Like AWS absolutely was the beacon that shined the light on how important it is to evolve the way that developers work, right? So if I go back to my first company, which I built in 1999, when we were building out that web service, uh, gosh, we had to spend like maybe four months, five months finding servers, buying them, going to the data center, racking them, plugging them into the network, configuring them, installing things. So we had to spend like four, six months just to get the server up before we can do any coding and now actually build the thing that we want to build. And today you can go and plug in your credit card and spend uh, like 50 bucks and you can have an amazing POC built in, in, in like minutes, <laughs> right? So if I were to put my finger on one thing, I would say it's the combination of these effects. First, Amazon shining the light on it, like uh, because that's how they were doing things internally and that works for the rest of the world. But more importantly, if you look at the nexus of why cloud computing really took off, it's because it significantly improved the efficiency with which we as developers can become productive. Right? It literally got improved by a thousand times. Like it's that significant of an improvement. Like back then it would take forever to get anything up, which limited who can do amazing things to a few companies and maybe very wealthy VCs that can fund these companies to go buy stuff. And but very quickly. It now became anybody in the room can build an amazing thing. I think that is it. That is the, the genius of uh, the cloud movement. And uh, that's uh, probably the most defining thing in terms of uh, the BBC technology. Yeah, and it's still happening right now. Like, uh, we're not done with that journey. We're not done with that journey. Like, that journey of simplifying uh, how effective and how fast developers can be is underway right now. It's still going. Like, the cloud was the first, uh, the cloud of microservices and serverless architectures getting up, scaling down. and. Uh, very user-friendly uh, microservice-based APIs, self-healing systems, self-routing systems, self-correcting systems. Uh, the data storage just scales up and scales down by itself. All of these amazing things. That was the beginning. Now we're seeing the next iteration of that. We're seeing self-coding systems, right? We're seeing where I can go in and define my app at a very high level, and I see the code for the app coming out. And my job now is just to massage it to make it work, right? So, so it's going to get even easier. Like I see it within five years from now, uh, even my mom, who is now almost 80 years old and never program, never wrote a line of code in her life, she might be able to create her own app. Like that, that, that would happen in our lifetime. She would go ahead and say, oh, I want to create this new app. It's called Snapchat. And mm -hmm. you take a picture and the picture disappears after five seconds. <laughs> and the app will come out from the other end. It's fully scalable, fully uh, secure, reliable, full tolerant, et cetera, et cetera.